Today we are honored to have on the podcast famed voice actor James Arnold Taylor. Some of you might be asking yourself, who is this person with three first names? Yes, I am reading your mind, Mr. Chaos Maxtor. Now let me tell you. A native of California, James has been voice acting since 1984, where he began his career as Musu in Miyazaki's film Nausicaa, A Valley of the Wind, and since then has been involved in franchises such as Pokemon, Final Fantasy, Ratchet and Clank, Johnny Bravo, Robotech, Duck Dodgers, Avatar The Last Airbender, Codename Kid Next Door, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, X-Men, Pirates of the Caribbean, Spider-Man, Shrek, Afro Samurai, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Superman, Kingdom Hearts, Batman, Benton, Alien Force, The Princess Bride, Transformers, Bionicle, Scooby-Doo, Fact to the Future, The Flintstones, G.I. Joe, Green Lantern, Johnny Test, and even Thundercats. Of course, we would know him best for his work with Star Wars, both in games such as Lego Star Wars, Battlefront 2, and Star Wars The Clone Wars, where he voices Obi-Wan Kenobi, Plo Koon, and many more. Not only a very talented voice actor, who been in all facets of the industry, but a loving husband and father, and a man of great faith and optimism who strives to inspire others to be all that they can be through his experiences shared on his website, jamesarnoldtaylor.com, his Facebook page, and also his live shows such as A Galaxy of Voices performed at Disney World Orlando for Star Wars Weekends this past year. It brings me a great pleasure to welcome to the podcast our distinguished guest, James Arnold Taylor. Appreciate you guys uh, asking me some questions here. I'm going to give you the answers from the uh, five that you asked. Here we go. Now, as a note to the audience, Mr. Taylor volunteered his time to answer questions that we presented to him. A month ago on the Gungan Council Forum, we, the members, were able to brainstorm questions that we would like to ask him. Other parties, such as some members of the Forest.net forums, were involved in a list of questions came to be. We, the podcast team, went through these and chose five questions for our guests to answer. Here are the questions and the answers. So take it away, James. Question number one. Star Wars fans are known to be among the most dedicated diehard supporters of any franchise in film history. We can also be very demanding of our favorite Star Wars personalities, lovingly hounding them at conventions and other events for decades at a time. How does it feel to be part of the Star Wars mythology, and how has the reception from fans been, especially given that you've stepped into the voice of Clone Wars era Obi-Wan Kenobi, a role so strongly associated with Ewan McGregor? Ah, yes. Well, it is a great honor to be involved in the Star Wars universe, as I've said many times before, and I agree with you, Star Wars fans are very, very dedicated, but also so uh, kind and very endearing to all of us, and, and hopefully we are the same to them. It's been great being a part of it, and it's very strange to be the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi and to be the character associated with Obi-Wan Kenobi now to be that actor and Ewan McGregor is uh, such a great actor and I really admire his work as well as Alec Guinness uh, Sir Alec Guinness and so to be the third guy to kind of step into this and to voice more of Obi-Wan than even Ewan or Alec uh, in fact combined over the course of the last uh, eight or nine years now I think that I've been doing this it's uh, pretty exciting and it's it's quite humbling so I am I'm thrilled to be involved with it and I can't thank all of you the fans that listen uh, to my voice as Obi-Wan Kenobi and I'm quite honored you've done so many voices so many characters it's actually staggering well thank you which one was your favorite role and why well you know I get this question a lot and I can't really say that you know this particular character is my favorite or that particular character is my favorite I find that whichever one I'm doing at the time I really try to give my all to and in turn they kind of all become my favorites it's like I've always joked it's like trying to pick a favorite child uh, you love each one for different reasons I love Obi-Wan Kenobi for uh, what he represents and not just in the Star Wars universe but within just a character and and that development of that character and that that person that he is as well as the Jedi that he is so I, I love that and yet at the same time if I'm doing Fred Flintstone I love doing Fred Flintstone because I grew up watching the Flintstones and uh, show this near and dear to my heart as well as my sisters and my family and all and uh, to be able to do that voice was a great honor to do that uh, and then you look at something brand new like you know Ratchet and Clank or Johnny Test um, and getting to do those voices and bring life to those characters in a way that uh, is so fun and funny and well written you know uh 
it's great. Yet, at the same time, if I walk in and do a, a commercial or a promo for Fox and say, animation domination coming up next on Fox, you know, I love doing that. So I, I really don't have a favorite. I, Whatever I'm doing at the time becomes my favorite. Why should adult fans watch The Clone Wars? Well, because Obi-Wan Kenobi says that you should. You will watch The Clone Wars. No, um, because... It is a show that is, well, if you're a Star Wars fan, uh, you should watch The Clone Wars because it is made by Star Wars fans, uh, namely Dave Filoni, our uh, supervising director, who just does an amazing job, but also has such a great love for the romance of Star Wars and loves telling the story of the entire arc of uh, stories from Star Wars, not just the the prequels, um, but uh, it's one of those shows that is just plain old good television, uh, like Lost before it, or Heroes, or uh, Battlestar Galactica. Great in that um, fantasy and sci-fi world, but also great in the storytelling. And there's a lesson to be learned in each episode, and they are family-friendly as well, but they are just Star Wars-friendly. They make sense within the world of Star Wars. Question four, are you aware and or present at the online Star Wars community. People are curious if you are aware of our existence and if our reputation is as crazy as people think it is. Well, I am aware, I am not present, uh, and yes, you all are crazy. <gasps> no! No, I kid. Uh, I think it's great. You know, I think that there is... Um, so many different outlets for Star Wars fans to get out there and be heard as well as to um, just converse. And so I think that that's uh, pretty cool, although I know that there's some, um, you know, some, uh, I don't want to say controversy with it, but uh, just the fact that, uh, yeah, there's pros and cons as far as people have presented. And uh, look, it, it is what it is. And uh, again, I think as long as uh, people can always have their minds uh, not just open that sounds kind of you know silly uh, hooey to just throw out there have an open mind but to be um, aware of things and to uh, put out uh, positions but also be willing to hear other positions you know and things like the Star Wars community online certainly gives that uh, voice so there you go there's my political answer to it and finally, what is your favorite experience in the industry? Any funny or interesting or inspirational recording experiences you'd like to share? And who are your favorite people to work with? Well, I love working with the cast of The Clone Wars. Um, D. Bradley Baker is uh, one of the most uh, talented voice actors out there, along with Tom Kane and Phil Lamar, Corey Burton, uh, all these amazing people that I get to work with on a regular basis. Jim Cummings, who uh, does a great job as Hondo and uh, many guest starring roles there. Steven Stanton, who has been many different characters, including uh, Tarkin on the show, uh, does a wonderful job. But uh, it is a true joy to work with all of these wonderful people, as well as these very, very talented on-camera actors that have come in and, and done an amazing job, such as Matt Lanter, Ashley Eckstein, Catherine Tabor, uh, Ian Abercrombie. Uh, we've got T.C. Carson, who does an amazing Mace Windu. I mean, I, I just, I'm so uh, blessed to work with all of them, and um, and then guest stars like Clancy Brown playing uh, Savage Press. It is uh, a great show. It is uh, so fun to work on. And that in itself is a fun and inspirational time recording each uh, time we get into the studio to do it. So that is some of my favorite things to do. Although, uh, you know, I, I love recording Johnny Test because uh, I get to uh, do that with a cast that is not Hollywood voice actors, but... Um, very well-known Canadian voice actors and so they are all in Canada and I am here in my booth uh, talking um, and then we have a phone patch that patches us in so we all get to record together so that makes that great fun recording the show Johnny Test but uh, no I, I just I am blessed to be a voice actor I love doing it and I am uh, very grateful for it and every day that I work with uh, these amazing talents uh, such as the people I mentioned as well as other ones like Frank Welker and uh, Maurice LaMarche uh, Rob Paulson, all these uh, greats in voiceover. It is uh, truly, truly an honor. I'm thankful for your time at the Gungan Council. I'm thankful for you guys uh, having the Gungan Council. So be well, and uh, may the force be with you always. Thanks for your time. Thank you.
Thank you very, very much, Obi-Wan Kano um, or James, for your time. It has been an honor. So that's all she wrote for, or, well, that's all of the interview, folks. Coming up on the podcast, we will be announcing the winners of the 7th Hermit the Saber next Friday, October 7th, releasing our usually scheduled podcast, this time focusing on Return of the Jedi, final thoughts on the Star Wars Blu-ray release, Season 4 of the Clone Wars, and, of course, our usual antics on our home, the Gungan Council message board. The Force is very, very strong at the Gungan Council. Thank you, Obi-Wan. You can find us at thegungancouncil.yuku.com. Our Star Wars fan community since 1999 and still going strong. For those seeking more information about our guest, please visit his website at jamesarnoldtaylor.com or check out the links provided in the summary of the episode. May the Force be with you. In fact, may it be with us all. And remember, the Gungan Council, a galaxy far, far away, just a little bit closer to home.